Well, I always thought that the role of the artist was, a, was as a transgressor, to, to transgress. Now, the problem is that very often when you're in the middle of a revolution, you're transgressing against the dictatorial state that you've just got rid of. But how do you transgress against the revolution itself? How do you transgress against, against the idea that everything is going along very, very nicely? So I just wanted to stir the pot of that because I've been through all sorts of experiences. I've been through an experience of democratic, uh, you know, democratic times before, I, uh, before Allende, then Allende uh, in, in Chile was uh, a, an attempt to have a real revolution and everything was very different. So the artist was in the middle of expressing the people and expressing the, the changes. And then we went through 17 years of dictatorship and in my case of exile as well. And during that period, there were other things that happened. And then, then I went through a transition to democracy, which was also a very ambiguous, difficult time. So all I'm trying to say is that art always changes according to where you find yourself and where the artist finds himself or herself in these situations. You express yourself in different ways because people are asking you for different things. But always, always, I think, you are going to tend to make things to disturb the, the audience, to make them think, to make them critical, to wake them to their own potentialities and to beauty. Transgressive art is art that is used to outrage morals and violate people's boundaries through challenging their cultural beliefs. Transgressive art has always existed through history, however, the introduction of modernism has had an impact on the development of transgressive art. Transgressive art is then defined in relation to its audience. There must be boundaries in the audience for the art to overstep. These boundaries differ depending on the audience, but every person will inevitably have some sort of boundary. Transgressive art has always ha has a mixed reception. Some viewers or participants find the work to be offensive, while others might appreciate the artwork as exciting and insightful. It can be argued that there is no work of art that is ultimately transgressive. If art manages to be sufficiently transgressive to the extent where it offends a large amount of people, it would then likely to not be considered as artwork but would be considered as dangerous. In the 19th century, symbolic art was introduced. Symbolic art placed an emphasis on mythological themes. Symbolic art was both an artistic and literacy movement that suggested ideas through symbols and emphasised the meanings behind lines, shapes and colours. They had a greater interest in the interior life, or interior life rather than the external reality through an emphasis on the imagination rather than the reason. Symbolism was in many ways a reaction against the moralism, rationalism and materialism in the 1880s. The idea of using art as a form of protesting has also been evident in the 21st century. An example of this is through graffiti. The art of graffiti has been associated with crime and disorder and Wilson and Kelling's 1982 theory of broken windows has had a great influence in this. The broken win window theory stated that antisocial acts such as graffiti would lead to more serious and violent, and violent crimes and that if these acts were to be eliminated, crime wouldn't exist. On the contrary, modern day graffiti artists have stated that graffiti allows them to express themselves through being creative. Theories such as Durkheim may view transgressive art as a healthy aspect of society as they derive from traditional standards of society and this creates a healthy balance. Transgressive art is also known for causing controversy. An example of transgressive art that is used, that has caused controversy is the 1987 debut of The Piss Christ by Andre Serrano. The painting depicts a figurine of a crucified Jesus Christ in the artist's urine. This generated a storm of controversy and public debate, mostly because Serrano had received funding for the work from the National Endowment for the Arts. This work is among the art that is cited by opponents of the government funding for artwork. It is seen by its opponents as a loss of perspective and it, is no, long, it no, no longer produces work which is appreciated by the general public. I use that, uh, that the government should stay far away out of our lives and so uh, independent art ex exhibition should be allowed to exist freely uh, and chosen by the people that have chosen.
Transgressive art can also be used to conduct social experiments. By crossing boundaries, one can gain a better understanding of the structure of people's belief systems. Marina Abramovic, a Serbian performer, sees her extreme performances as a series of experiments that allow her to identify limits and boundaries. This can also be used as a reflection of the audience's relationship with the laws that govern society. Transgressive art has previously been described as research and for some, they view it as a process of, his, of investigation and self-discovery. However, it is not confirmed whether this research is scientifically structured, but it does provide a deeper understanding of people's attitudes towards art. Once again, it is important to remember that no art is ever completely transgressive, as different people believe in different things. A group of people may be offended by a certain type of art, However, there will always be another group of people that will find that art as acceptable. It is all about perspective.